What's up, guys? This is David, a.k.a. Reverse Long, and I'm here with my friend Lucas Marin, Marin Trader. And, um, yeah, Lucas has been traveling for, like, three months, and he's all over Asia, and he's still been trading, like, in our in our little Discord that we have going on, a little trading community that we have, the Friendly Bear Research trading community, which anyone can, can join. Just hit me up or anyone that you see, uh, you know, like Lucas or anybody, or, or, like, Art of War, actually. He's handling all the chat room stuff. But anyway, so Lucas goes in there like for one hour very quickly, does his trading, and he's just enjoying life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen him like in Cambodia. Uh, I where else, Lucas? Cambodia, Thailand. He's A lot in of Auckland places man. now. <laughs> Auckland is Australia, right? No, Auckland. It's New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh my it's... god! So like New yeah. Zealand. Um, where else have you been? I've been to Qatar. Oh, Qatar. oh yeah that's right you spent like a week there right i spent like four days there it was my stopover between brazil and and bangkok so basically i started on 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 bangkok i went directly to cambodia so cambodia vietnam lao thailand malaysia singapore indonesia australia and now i'm in new zealand so i remember so i was in singapore last year no no this is like december yeah and i st you sent me um a suggestion to stay at the space capsule yeah <laughs> so i stayed at the space <laughs> capsule and i traded from there on my laptop and then you did you stay at the uh, space capsule you know what i tried to but it was fully booked so i couldn't <laughs> oh man <laughs> it was fully booked yeah it so was. in singapore is a popular thing all these capsules but yeah man it's really cool so to see you know um I've seen your growth since 2021 and like, since did you think that you would be able to yeah. do all this traveling and stuff? Like, you know, back then it was like, you've never traveled before like that. Right. Yeah. Like I lived in the U S for six months and I actually work at a Disney, but it was like interni, interni, uh, intern, international college program from university. It was like a long time ago, but besides this six months that I spent in, in, in California, um i that's my biggest travel ever like so you worked in california that's the last time you travel in uh disney world as a with this worker visa yeah maybe? yeah disney world was like a long time ago it was more than 12 years ago but berkeley was 10 years 10 years ago i was i was i studied at berkeley for four months there in berkeley berkeley kind of close to san francisco there and um yeah, like I travel around a little bit. Like I went to Alaska, I went to Hawaii over there. But uh, like backpacking, actually backpacking and like booking your next night stay one day before. Like this is how you backpack nowadays. Like you don't have any place to stay now. So for example, tomorrow I'm leaving the place I am. I, I still don't have a place to stay. You yeah, know, this that's kind the of... way you do it now. You can just get on your phone. I used to use booking.com. You just book it on the phone immediately. You can Perfect. change plans. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You yeah, don't need a plan then... like you don't need to plan it like weeks ahead or a month ahead, you know? <laughs> no, that that's that's the idea, man. And and that's crazy. It for, it's, it's my first time doing this in my life, but it's it's amazing. You have the freedom to choose wherever you want to stay, where you wanna you wanna go next. And you see, that's I mean, a, that's a real thing. So like I know it, it's 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 supposed to sound like cliche, like oh yeah, the traders traveling, of course. It's like, but it's a real thing. Like you really can create the life you want. Um, I was talking to my friend right now, walking over here about architecture. You know, she's in architecture at the firm across the street, and um, I you know I used to work in that in that uh environment like that, and like you can't you can't leave. You know, you got to okay. work nine to five. You got to drive to work. You got to drive back home, and you you know with trading. If you spend some time the first couple of years, you, you treat it very serious and you do all the work to learn, you can reap the rewards later. You know what I mean? So Perfect. that's what you've done. Perfect. So like, you know, uh, and I've done all, all to get profitable, you know, and then to create the life you want. So, you know, I'm pretty sure you probably wanted to always travel all over Asia because like you you really hit up the whole Asia. You know, <laughs> and 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 actually, like what made me go to Asia, it was a, a, it was the time zone, man, because it's perfect. You can travel the whole day, you can tour, you can do a lot of stuff during the day, and it becomes like six p.m. Yeah, I'm home at night. I don't want to party. Okay, let's trade. 
So a pre-market opens around opens around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. depends depends on the place you are. So it's perfect because you can work like easily from five to seven and have dinner, do something at night, and okay, let's trade opening hours, regular hours at 10, 11, that's fine. So, and the thing is, so you spent a lot of time in the pre-market, you know, we both have spent a lot of time trading in the pre-market over the years. And so like, we have that way to make money of pre-market. So the pre-market, what time does the pre-market open like in Asia? Depends on the country, but like Thailand, it was 4 p.m. So 4 if I had a, yeah, 4 p.m. And uh -huh. uh, the regular hours open at 9.30 p.m. So basically, it's it's exactly the the amount of time that you need to. It's twelve hours from New York, uh, New York time, so it's perfect. You, you can do yeah. it like you, tr you can travel during the day. So you do like I don't know. I was in Thailand, like enjoying the beach or doing some snorkeling or I don't know, like diving. I did the diving course. That was one of the best things I've done. Yeah, I watched. Man. You you did everything. You did, I, I don't yeah. think there's anything left to do. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I, yeah. There is actually, but I'm not gonna do it. It's like I'm I'm in New Zealand, and New Zealand is one of the best places to uh -huh. do like bungee jumping. But I, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah bungee <laughs> jumping. Like, what about a uh, parrot sailing? No, you know what? Yeah. Like, I have a lot of risk in the market. I don't want to risk yeah. my life. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Getting squeezed is enough. So, yeah. so with trading, okay. So, what is what are you? So you're trading like one hour a day or so now. So has it has it been working out? You came up with like a system because now you, the thing is like when I travel, it's very hard for me to trade because I'm trading off this massive computer. I have like this crazy setup and I'm comfortable with it. Now when I travel, I'm on this little laptop and I can never seem to do like I want to do, you know. But since you've been yeah. traveling now three months, have you figured out a way to like get it to be effective, you know? Yeah, like I had a, I have a second screen. Uh, like you, you, you do have two. Like I remember when you're traveling, you always take pictures with the second screen. I bought it one for the trip, and I, it helps a lot because like we have the Discord group, you have like uh, um, dilution tracker. So you, you like all the stuff that we need to research. It's in the on my my side screen, and like trading, it's in the, my my main screen in the laptop. So basically, that's how I I, I manage to to see everything that I need to see. But of course, like with four screens, it's even better. But sometimes you got to just adapt. Yeah. Right? That's why we do in the markets, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, yeah, for me, it's always, it's uh, two, the laptop, one extra screen and the phone. Perfect. So is that like, that's the same thing you have pretty much? Same, same, same. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, yeah, utilizing whatever you can. So, so, okay. So for the people listening, um, all right. So for you to be able to trade and travel and do all this, like, um, because I know, like, you know a, a lot about fundamentals. You worked in um in the industry in Brazil, I think. You yeah. worked for Credit yeah, Suisse. Yeah, I did work at a credit. Yeah. Back you then, also, it, was a, it was nice to say I work at a credit Suisse. Nowadays, I'm kind of ashamed. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they, they crash, right? So, yeah, they did. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so it's like you say, you, you worked at Bear Stearns. Exactly, because they were bought by by UBS, so they don't exist yeah. anymore. So like it's yeah. exactly like, the you same. Know, like like now they say I worked at I work at First Republic Bank, or <laughs> it's it's not a good it's not <laughs> a good uh, curriculum. Yeah, it's not, but um, but like you you know a lot about like the dilution, the fundamentals combined with technicals combined with like risk management that takes just a lot of time over the years. Like like how long you've been trading now, Lucas? U.S. markets for three years, but I've been trading like 15 years already. It's a yeah, long time. see all this. Yeah. So it just takes time. So, so for people, there's now a lot of a lot of people are starting to listen to the podcast that are new, new subscribers. Can you imagine the podcast has been around for like two and a half years, and now it's starting to get <laughs> the attention? So, like, what what would you say to the to the people that, that are new? That you know, they're just like three months in, six months in, and they're like they're trying to make money, you know? So He's like, it takes a lot of time to be able to, to do what, you know, what you do or what I do or, you know, what we do uh, in the chat, you know, the guys in there. You know what, like one of the questions that I usually receive, because I, you're I'm not sure if you remember, I have a, um, a a little community for Brazilians that I'm trying yeah, to yeah, teach yeah, yeah. how to trade. And like the one of the main questions that I receive is like, can I make $200 a day? 
like, man, you need to know how to learn how to trade before asking yourself, like making plans of how much you're going to do by day. You know, it, it's crazy how people think they only think in the end, but they don't think to like enjoy the process. You know what I mean? It's it's they they are only worried by the the goal like i want to make 200 a day but you don't even hold, know how to trade like of course you can do 200 like that's what i'm doing right now i'm make, making like yeah. 200 300 a day while traveling which is perfect it's like if you if you see my expenses i'm doing my expenses and 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 profits i'm like 5k plus positive like while you're traveling you know what i mean yeah. it's 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 easy but like these guys like the, the newbies they they just they just they just think about like how much can i make in a month to pay my to pay my rent it's not the way to start like you gotta have like some savings you gotta have uh at least one year of studying like you can go like uh uh live trading like in the beginning yeah, that's that's not a problem the problem is you gotta you gotta use a small amount of money to learn right it's no no go uh, all win in the beginning because you need a it's a it's a curve you you need to you 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 gotta uh learn how it is and unfortunately there's no other way you gotta be every single day at the screens and learning it's like i, I was thinking about before our, our 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 podcast today like what should i say that it's interesting like uh for me like i could i could be not trading doing during the trip right like I, I i made some money that i could travel with i don't i didn't need to trade but it's like when you're uh uh uh, uh i don't know um uh, outlet outlet of any sport like you gotta if you're not if you're on vacation you gotta do any kind of uh gym something to keep uh your body yeah awake you know what i mean so even though I'm trading one hour or two hours a day, some days actually like I, I can't avoid. I, I stay like five, six hours trading because I love that. But like trading one hour a day, two hours a day, you you keep your mind still in the with the same process. You you keep exercising your mind, doing the same things that we do every single day, but we do it for six or seven or eight hours. But if you do it for one hour at least a day, you can catch up everything that happens the day before. So like. I I saw uh, TOP the day before, the day after what happened and I research it and then I, I I catch up with all the Discord group. Okay, let's not talk about our Chinese stocks anymore. So if I wasn't pay, paying attention to that, I was trading like one day per week. I couldn't get that. So, you know, yeah. it's really important. Like since I'm even even though I'm traveling, I'm still in the markets. I, I'm I'm up to up to date. You know what I mean. And that's that's necessary for me, at least. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. When I travel, um, I have trouble doing that. So, like, I'll be, by the time I get back to the States, I'm, like, off. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't in tune with it. So, you got to keep in tune. It's, um, you know, so that's that's the hardest part. Because you go, you need, especially, you get to a certain point. So, if you're not at the certain point of profitability or consistent profitability, uh, you don't have enough screen time. You're, if you're traveling, you're let's say you got lucky, you made some money, you travel, and you're not getting the screen time, then you know you're missing out too because all that compounds. Like Perfect. think of all the all the times that we chat in the in the chat room talking about stocks, all the times that we're up at four in the morning watching the stocks from four in the morning. I know you have seen me go pre market till after hours, and I've seen you go pre market to after. All that time of compounded knowledge. You know, and so like and then when you travel, if you just put it like and don't pay attention, then you got to catch up. And it's it's hard to catch up in like, let's say three months if you just go on vacation for three months, you know. So, yeah. So like it's always you got to stay in tune all the time. It's like an athlete, like an athlete can't just go and, you know, uh, train hardcore and then all of a sudden just go and not worry about diet, not worry about just stop training. And it's like atrophy. You know the you know what I mean? It's like like brain atrophy or like physical atrophy. So that's that's exactly the point. Like sometimes I I have some like my main struggles trading and traveling is first sometimes time zones are bad. You cannot like trade the way you want when you're changing countries. From now, like for example, uh, I cannot trade regular hours because I'm 19 hours ahead of you. 19 hours. Example. Yeah. So it's what time is it now? In, it, here, uh, ten fifty three. 
So yeah. it's 11 p.m. Here it's 6 p.m. But on one day. <laughs> so that's where like the game, the game of Thrones was filmed over there, right? It is, man. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to uh, no, not Game of Thrones, uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. There you go. Yeah. So tomorrow, I'm going to Hobbit Town. It's the the place that went when they filmed the Shire. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's yeah, crazy, I'm man. So a Brazilian guy. It... <laughs> yeah. But I'm there's so not many Brazilians yeah. there, I bet, right? Actually, there's a lot of Brazilians here, man. There's a oh, lot of man. like Brazilians here in Australia. There's a lot of Brazilians. Oh, it's crazy. Awesome. Like, so, actually, I'm in a, in a friend's house here, and he he, he lives with a, with a Brazilian. He he has whole all community of Brazilians, so it's crazy, man. But there are Brazilians all over all over the world. <laughs> so so what what do you want to travel to next? Like okay, so you did Asia, for example. Do you want to do Europe? Do you want to do? You've been to the states. So I guess you know we talked about you going to Miami, visiting yeah. Miami later in the year so now you can travel you know so where do you want to go so after this trip i still have like two countries i'm going to south you've been to south korea right no i have not i have not no oh i'm going to I'm south korea go. now yeah, gonna... and then philippines you philippines you you've been to philippines, right yeah yeah this uh january yeah so that's the my last countries and then i'm coming back to brazil and to be honest man i'm still like deciding what to do because since trading gives me freedom, I I have a chance like to live in maybe Europe, since I have an Italian passport, Italian citizenship. And we were talking about this, like we, we as traders, we gotta we gotta not only look for profits, but we still gotta look for costs. So Portugal, for example, they have like the 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 tax free yeah. uh, uh, incentives and. Maybe there's a place to go, maybe stay in Brazil. I don't know, like I'm still figuring out, but uh, I'm gonna stay at least at least uh, some months back home or like with a routine of trading because in the same way traveling, it's really nice, it's exhausting. And sometimes we, we want to focus, like I see you, like you're in the focus mode completely and it's really nice to see you're, you're an inspiration for me. And sometimes like I'm since I'm traveling, it's amazing. I don't complain about traveling. I'm, I'm loving it. But sometimes it's good to be at home and like focus, like laser focus like you are now. Like I can see like the last months, you're like, man, I don't want to leave. I want to stay here because that's the yeah. best. I mean, the, my best version. So I, I don't want to miss it. So I, I, I want to feel it again because since traveling, I'm not train, training with the same size that I used to. Like now my profits are around 400, 300, sometimes 200 if I don't get lucky in pre-market because sometimes I only have pre-market to trade. So sometimes like uh, I want to be back and trading like to make 1,000, 1,000, maybe 2,000 a day. That's what I was doing like back in October last year, you know. But I'll, I'll tell you good. what, Lucas, uh, you know, in, back in 2020, when I first got profitable and I had a little tiny chunk of money first time, the first thing I did was go to South America for, for two months. And the reason, and so I think going there and seeing all these countries, go to Machu Picchu, go, I went to Brazil. I always dreamed of traveling. And then when I came back, I was able to trade better because I was like, oh, I'm satisfied. I want to travel because before that, uh, it was 10 years that I did not travel because I was I, uh, I was a slave to the to architecture. I know what <laughs> For you mean. 10 years, I could not <laughs> travel. So then the second I was like, wow, I can actually go to Machu Picchu. I've always wanted to go. I can go to Brazil and see all the Oscar Niemeyer buildings. I So if you look at my, my photos from Brazil, it's all I nerded Oscar out Niemeyer. on all, all, all the Oscar Niemeyer buildings. And um. And I always wanted to go to Brasilia. Brasilia is in the Amazon, like that city that's like a bird, you know. So like I went there. Yeah. So when even though I didn't make that much money when I was trading, um, when I was traveling, you know, when I came back, I was able, my mind was clear, and I was like, I like I was able to see like my, some things I've always dreamed of. So I think that helped me trade better, the clear mind, you know. And then yeah. like I made it a point after that when I, you know when I got more profitable and became more consistent as a trader to always travel. And then like now it's kind of slowed down. So it's not only that I'm in the zone and all that, which is true, you know, like I feel like I'm comfortable now in my trading that I want to be at the screens. I, I look forward to it and I, I'm ready, you know, like, and like 
like I, I'm in the zone, so I want to stay in the zone. But um, but like I've I've satisfied my my traveling. You know, I've done a lot of traveling, man. So now, like, okay, I I, I got out of my system. Although I want to keep traveling, but not at that rate. Like I would travel like like you. I see you <laughs> travel. You're loving it. You're just like you know. But like yeah, after a while, it's like okay. Uh, you know, you slow yeah. it down because you you you. It's like you're in this. It's like surreal. I know for me it was like surreal. It's like it's like wow, man. I'm able to freaking go to Machu Picchu. I was in the middle of the pandemic. I was the only one in Machu Picchu, and me and the llama, you know, yeah. and we're just <laughs> hanging out. And I'm like wow, like I'm able to do this. I've like it, architecture, I couldn't even dream of this, you know, like, it, it's, you know what I mean? So when no, you get no. those things out of your system, you know, or like, you know, when, when you accomplish your dreams, your goals, it makes you a better trader. So like, yeah, it's like reinvesting in yourself, you know? Uh, yeah, man, that's it. And not only that, like for me, uh, probably you're in the, in, in, you're in a position right now that you don't trade with all your money in the account. So you have saved some money. You, yeah, you wired yeah, out yeah. some money. So you you like the amount of money in your account, it's fine if you have a a a, a black swan and you 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 blow it up. But like I'm still trading with my full time full size um, amount. So what I'm trying to to think about and like I'm trying to prepare myself for a new phase, a new Lucas phase, you know, in trading. Which means is uh I'm I've been too uh, slow in sizing up. So I'm in a pro what I'm thinking now, like that's that's when I come back, I'm probably finally open my, my I have already opened the account, but I start trading with Cobra and um, going to the next level, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel I, I don't have, uh, I, I need new, new, new goals. Because like only trading and making 200, 300 a day is nice. I pay my, I pay my bills right now. But sometimes when I get a squeeze, I get like, oh, fuck, I lost all the whole month. But the point is, uh, I want to I wanna grind the same, the same way that you guys are grinding, you know. And, uh, and to do that, you got to be focused. You got to be there, you know. And uh, that's my main, my main idea now. So I want to come back and start uh increasing size the way that we were like i was trading before and maybe a little bit more get a little bit more comfortable with trading with bigger sizes and that's why traveling was important to me because uh we, we never know man what's gonna happen maybe i get in a top top again and i can like make 20 percent down on my account like usually 10 percent it's it's my my I learned that it's like, oh shit number, you know, like the oh yeah. shit number, it's like 10% yeah. on my the account. So basically like I want to increase size, uh, but I don't, I, I, I did want to travel before, spend the money traveling. So if something bad, like having like one, one uh, oh shit number uh, while increasing size, I would say, I don't mind. That's fine. Like I traveled, I spend the money there. So I enjoyed my, I made, like my dream went true, uh, became true. Like, uh, so I did what I did. So that, that's fine, man. Let's come back and trading again. And like, if I, if I have a, a bad, bad, uh, big drawdown, that's fine. Let's keep it up and trade again, you know, because I have like the dream already accomplished, which for me, it's important because yeah. as you said, like if you trade, if you work like for 10 years in, uh, in architecture and you didn't give yourself this gift to travel and enjoy life a little bit. If something bad happens in trading, and we we all as traders, we are a, uh, we are we know that like we, that's good that could happen. We could get in a bad bad really bad trade. We gotta we gotta like at least know that we enjoy life a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm now that I've done it, I'm kind of ready for the next step. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you, did you get it? Absolutely. It's it's just like living life with no regrets, man. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, you know, so absolutely, man. But yeah, you always want to have things in place. I was really paranoid of that because I did not want to go back to architecture. So I was like, all right, as soon as I made some money, I put another account, a backup account, and then like another backup account. And then I'm I'm a paranoid guy. Like when I when I was a kid, I when I tied my shoes, they used to make fun of me because I double tie it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I double tie. <laughs> So like I'm I'm very cautious, you know. So like I have like like a 
backup bank account, backup trading account, backup. So you have like that in the back of your mind, um, you know, you're going to be here. It, it helps. You know what I mean? So like you were saying, you pay down all your stuff. You have, you invest in other things. Because the, the worst thing to do is to have everything in one account and then a TOP yeah. happens and then like now you gotta go, you know what I mean? That's that's the worst. But um, but yeah, traveling is like you take care of it. it it's like a uh, a breath of fresh air. It's like oh, you can you're more calm when you trade. Like all right, I traveled. I I I, I always wanted to travel, and no matter what happens, I have that experience for the rest of my life. You know, that's so, it. You know what I mean? Like when I went to India, Taj Mahal with Reed and Adam, like. I don't think I'm going to go to the Taj Mahal. I mean, who knows? But, like, that's pretty far to go in the middle of India to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know man. So, But, like, <laughs> I have that. And it's, like, on my bucket list. I'm like, oh, I went to the... You can never take that away. You know what I mean? It's in, it's in the, the experience. So that's really cool. But, um, but yeah, Lucas, um, anything else? Any other... So, so okay, so you're going to be in, in Miami soon. We'll probably link up and um, trade in person. You know? Yeah, man. Hopefully, I want to meet meet you in person. Uh, finally, like, how long will we be? Can you, can you imagine? This is we just know each other virtually. Yeah, man. It's been <laughs> almost two years. I feel like I know yeah, you man. like a, like for many years, like in person. Yeah, it, it's like at least almost two years. I don't know, maybe yeah. at least one year. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's been a long time. But but the point is, like, we speak every single day, so it's it, that the feeling that we we know each other for a long time. Yeah. It's it's really <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all right lucas well yeah i'll see you i guess tuesday maybe in the in the pre-market or something yeah man you know it's already it's already monday night here so gsat i'm monday I'm, night that's right i'm i'm seeing that it's in a few hours it's gonna be crashing like i don't know so it's it's a holiday i know i know i know it is but it, you know like for me it's monday night so basically uh what i'm trying to say is like when i wake up in the in the the time zone difference yeah, I, yeah. It, I, I mean I, i'm ahead of you that i'm trying i'm just making a joke that okay, i okay I, yeah, yeah, yeah. first thing you know <laughs> you're in the future okay the yeah future. just uh <laughs> all right well i'll see you uh i guess it, 19 hours ahead of me and so like all right yeah. exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right lucas so i'll see you later and see you in the pre-market tuesday or you know i guess wednesday for you yeah yeah that's it see you bro <laughs> i'll see you man all right bye bye, -bye.